Hello everyone, welcome to E Times. Today we've got two very special guests. They've made probably the most popular film in the past few years. Everyone's talking about it, and we can't wait to talk to them. Hello, Vivek sir. Hello, Pallavi. How are Hello. you? Hello. Hi. Thank you. And congratulations for the film. It's a roaring success. How are you guys feeling about it? Hello. Hello. Yeah, Pallavi, with you. Uh, the feeling is absolutely divine because. Uh, <sighs> It's not uh, so much about the business the film is making. I mean, of course, we're happy about it. But uh, it's just the way the people are getting connected, uh, not just with the film, but with each other. And I'm getting some really beautiful videos of some Kashmiri uh, Pandit women crying in the theater, and some people going up to her, consoling her, and saying, we're sorry we didn't know your story for so long, but we are with you. We are your brothers. So these are like doesn't really happen like this, you know, every time. So the kind of uh, emotions that this movie is evoking in people, it's bringing them all together as one. Uh, I think that is just such a divine feeling. Right. Really? I mean, what has the reaction been like for you? See, I'm very happy with that uh, this conversation has begun around the theme and the film and both the sides, I mean, the people who believe in humanity and integrity and uh, uh, integrity of India, they are bringing their facts and people who uh, belong to the terrorism industry and who are supporting the terrorists by saying that so many people died, not so many people died, they are also bringing their half truths or facts, whatever they can. But at least people are discussing facts. Right. Uh, you know, they say all art is inherently political. Do you agree to that statement? I would do it say differently. All politics is art. That's what I would say. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I've got another statement. Uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, that's a bullshit spread by bad publicists. <laughs> okay. Why there is no bad publicity? There is bad publicity. Okay. If there was no bad publicity, then the previous government wouldn't have lost. Hmm. If there was no bad publicity, then so many careers in uh, so-called Bollywood, you must have seen, their career graphs have gone like that and gone down like that. So yes, uh, why should anybody invite bad publicity? I don't understand. That's perversion. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, coming to Kashmir Files is, I mean, everyone's talking about the success, right? You guys are on route to 190 crores net, I think. That is what I read in the morning. 250 plus crores gross. You know, these are huge numbers. And these are numbers you usually associate with those, you know, quintessential star films per se. So to have this kind of success, is it is it a validation for your art? Is it a validation for your journey, for, for the sacrifices you guys must have made? Are you guys thinking about these things? I mean, are these thoughts crossing your mind? Um, Money-wise, no. Okay. <clears throat> because uh, that was not our aim. So, uh, I mean, of course, while there is extreme happiness within all the partners uh, for making money, because uh, as producers, their business is to make money, and they should, because they have to make more films. But the validation really is coming from uh, the way people are calling us, the way people are, uh, you know, giving us uh, newer thoughts uh, for our you know, future films. The way people uh, come and meet us in the cinema halls, uh, the old women, the you know, I I meet so many young people also whenever I go out, and they all tell me that you know we almost had a Radhika Menon in our life, but we uh, you know managed to get out of her clutches. So when these things happen, you know, you realize that the film is resonated so much with the masses that every person realized the intent with which we had made it uh, and they have associated with the uh, honesty of the film and I think that is the true validation right. and the greatest uh, satisfaction that a filmmaker can get. Right, right. Vivek, you agree with this or you have... Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, how can I afford to disagree with that? <laughs> but it's true, yeah. It says the, the CA, it's... Hum, and and uh, to... to, to uh, think that okay we are getting all the accolades and this is the first step to uh, doom you know if you really want to destroy yourself this is the first thing you should think of oh everything is happening because of me no that's mm -hmm. not true and as second far you said numbers 190 that's uh, not correct we have crossed 216 crores as of today worldwide Super. okay when when you look at a products business you don't say only India you always 
look Making at on a global stage. Yeah, yeah. When we evaluate any Times of India, we don't say how much your sale is only in India. Mm -hmm. We take everything inclusive. So 216 crores we have done so far. That's great. That's great. Uh, you would also agree that you know Kashmir Files has also been a very polarizing film. For all the great reviews that it's got, it's also got a lot of criticism from various quarters. So when your when your film sort of invites so much of polarizing uh, sort of opinions, how does that make you feel? I mean, see, of course, everyone's intent is to make a good film and it is to tell a good story. But when people try to point things out, how do you sort of react to that? I think it's a great social service. I mean, it's a great, great service to democracy that you polarize the evil and the uh, goodness. Hmm. You know, uh, so yes, this film has been able to polarize. Not polarize, I would say, differentiate. Okay and segment people who are pro-humanity, uh, uh, mm. people who believe in human values and human rights, and the people who are from terrorism industry. Mm. You know, terrorism is industry, and people who give ideological or intellectual or media, say, or can you say creative support to terrorists. So today, on one side, um, all these people who believe in humanity, they're a huge number, and there are very small numbers there. And just to compare, this film by this end of this week will be seen by two crore plus people. Wow. Correct? The people who go and see it inside the theater, out of two crore, you won't find even one person saying this film is polarizing. Mm -hmm. People who have not seen, who are the terrorist group, people who belong to, who support terrorism, those people are on the other side who are criticizing the film. Mm -hmm. So it is not dividing or polarizing, it's differentiating between Ram and Ravan. Okay. So those people who are, who are being critical, what would you say to them? Would you ask them to please go watch the film and then give their opinion? Why should I say anything to terrorists? All I would tell the people who believe in humanity hmm. to defeat and destroy terrorists. That's all I would say. Right. And you know, this morning I was also reading an interview with Saurabh, who's uh, helped you write the screenplay. Is that his name? Mr. Pandey. Ah, he's, he's, he's my assistant. Yeah, he's my assistant. So there was an interview with him and he was saying that, you know, movies like Kashmir Files are so important because, you know, you're sort of showing a reality to what has gone wrong in history so that, you know, we don't repeat our own mistakes. So was that the thought when you guys were making this film? Was that the seed of the, uh, of, of Kashmir Files basically? Yeah, I mean, if history is bitter truth, then what can I do about it? Doesn't mean that you'll stop uh, showing history to people. There is a patient and if the medicine is bitter, it doesn't mean you won't give the medicine to the patient. Okay. And you know, uh, uh, Vivek, when initially when the release came about, we heard news like you had deactivated your Twitter account. You said there were death threats, etc. So Pallavi, I mean, when such things happen, I mean, he's obviously, you know, he's not just your creative partner, he's your life partner. How do you react to such situations? Uh, that was not the moment to react, actually. Mm -hmm. All those uh, thoughts had crossed my mind even before I said yes to the project. Yeah. So it was just, uh, I, could, I guess, a little delayed the response on my part. Mm -hmm. Because we knew these things would come our way. There would be different hurdles. We would be uh, you know, made to uh, feel that we should stop somewhere making uh, this film. But our minds were made up. And uh, there was only one way to go, and that was further. Right. So we kept doing that and today if you're sitting there with the yeah. film and so many people having watched it, I think what we did was correct. We didn't deter from our path. Yeah. I was reading you also said that somebody had issued a fatwa on the last day of your shooting. Yeah. So I mean obviously you guys probably knew that there's going to be a certain section of you know the society is going to oppose this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, See, we have knew that terrorists will uh, oppose it. And unfortunately the terrorism was uh, you know, the, the people who had to leave the valley were uh, thrown out of there because of their faith. Mm. So this was a religious uh, war too. And therefore, we knew that this is going to be a very thin, uh, you know, uh, ice that we are walking on. Because the minute we talk, of, the minute we talk about uh, terrorism, we, it also gets associated with a certain religion. Although we are not talking about the religion in the film at all. We are just talking about these bunch of terrorists who, who have destroyed the valley completely, mm. stripped it of its culture, of its heritage, of its traditions, everything that the valley stood for earlier. Yeah. And uh, it was only, there were just you know rivers of blood running through the valley. Mm. Uh, so when we talk about them and the kind of slogans they were giving out in the name of their religion, we had to show them. Mm. So we knew that there would be a certain section of society which 
without seeing the film is going to think that we've made some anti-Islam film or mm -hmm. something. So, mm -hmm. so we were ready for that. But I'm so glad that uh, a huge number of people have seen the film who are now telling these people that it's not bad. This film is not against any religion. It's against terrorism. Right. And I think we should all stand against terrorism. It's right. the only correct thing to do. Right. Right. Uh, Vivek, I mean, you had initially stated that, you know, Bollywood wasn't supporting your film as much as they should have. I mean, we had the Kapil Sharma episode. But now, when we see, you know, people like Kangana, Akshay Kumar, Amir Khan, they've come out in support of your film. Does this feel like a personal battle won? That, you know, we've, you've sort of, sort of turned the tide a bit? No, 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 no. I'm not here to prove anybody wrong or defeat anyone. You know, it's a, we make our films on our own and uh, we are outside of the Bollywood. We are just the opposite of Bollywood. We are just the alter ego of Bollywood, you know. We are absolutely outside of it. We are independent filmmakers. Mm -hmm. I have no problems with who appreciates, who doesn't appreciate, I don't care. I just uh, uh, made a video on how one of the top uh, film influencers and very powerful person on that, uh, who represents the establishment of Bollywood, tried to sabotage and malign my film using fake news and hate propaganda. She was indulged in hate propaganda against my film. Mm -hmm. So if I'm the creator of the film, it's my moral and creative ethical duty to defend my film. That's why I made that. Mm -hmm. As far as Kapil Sharma incident is concerned, I am a fan of Kapil Sharma. I watch his programs. We don't have TV so rarely, but whenever I can, I try to uh, do that uh, when I'm traveling. And it's not that I had anything against him. I understand how this system functions. It's because people were like trolling me and they were after my life. Why don't you go? Why don't you go on Kapil Sharma show? And they started, you know, it started uh, appearing as if I have something against it. So I just said ki when the Z told us officially, Z Studios told us officially that when they tried to tie up with them, they said we cannot invite this team because it does not have big stars, big commercial stars. Mm -hmm. This is the official reason. And um, Z won't lie. And I have all the reasons to believe because I have also been part of Bollywood, so I know how it functions, you know. Uh, the same media which was not giving us an inch of space, today all of them are coming and talking to us. So it's not that we have won a battle, it's just that what the normal citizens believe about all these things, it's true. Right. Uh, Vivek, I mean, I've always wanted to ask you this, you know, you when you started your career, you had Nandan Adan Go, you had Chocolate, so you worked with the stars. And then you sort of made a soft sort of transition when you did Buddha and then you've done Tashkent. So are you... It was a very hard transition. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult transition. <laughs> I don't so, wish anybody makes that transition. <laughs> but it's worked out for you. It's really worked out for you. So I mean, looking back, why did you make that transition? Was it an organic one? Were you forced into it? See, the thing is that system is not... I'm not cut out for that system. Okay. I am a I am a person with integrity. Integrity can be, it's my integrity. I want to work with talented people, want to do creative work and want to uh, use Indian films as soft power for the world to showcase and all that. I, I was not enjoying the system I was working in. You know, how can a star get it written in a contract that he will have the creative control and the editing control and the marketing control? Who the hell are you? I am creating, I am the creator, it is a creator's medium. It should be a writer's and director's medium. Nobody gives you time to research, nobody gives you time to write scripts. People come and change their scripts, your film and your talent, your competence and talent is as good and as bad as your star. Suppose today I work with some unknown person, then my status will be according to him. And if I sign a big star, uh, then my status becomes like that. If you work with Bhatsha, you are Bhatsha. And if you are not working with Bhatsha, then you are Rank, you know, you are nobody. So I wanted to break and challenge that system. I came out of it and we are independent filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do everything on our own now and we are very happy. Okay. Uh, you've also spoken that you'll probably make a web series on this uh, subject. So how is that coming along? Are you working on it? Or your focus is going to be on Delhi Files next? No, we are doing Delhi Files. See, as far as the web series is concerned, I don't have to do much because we have almost all the material we shot it mm. uh, before making the film. So we need some good people who can put it together and we can supervise and make it. So that's going to be interesting. But somebody has to fund it. Somebody has to finance it. Somebody has to commission it. Why don't you ask Jungli people to help us out? Yeah, yeah. It's a, I'll definitely put it's it it's a, it's a, No, it's a national heritage. Yeah. Imagine no studio in Germany being able to fund or, or, or do acquisition 
of video testimonials of all the Holocaust survivors. Mm. True. Imagine. True. Right? In India, if we miss out on this chance, history will not forgive us. That's right. So that's also one of my questions, uh, Vivek and Pallavi both. Going forward, do you guys feel it's going to be easy for people like you? You said you're independent filmmakers. Is it going to be easy uh, making films vis-a-vis -vis of the success that we've seen right now? It we, we invite difficulty. <laughs> But it should become pe uh, easy for people like us, mm -hmm. maybe not us <laughs> directly. Right. But yes, I I hope that uh, you know younger filmmakers now get the the, the required incentive, the mm -hmm. required encouragement, uh, having seen the success of this film, to come out and tell their own stories the way they want to do it. Right. So right. I I hope it's very easy for them. Okay. Okay. One final question, you know, we've had a lot of popular and cult films from Bollywood, but you know, and whereas there's always been so much of public interest, but rarely we see films like yours, which draw so much of interest from political corners, you know, political organizations, political individuals. <coughs> so what was it about Kashmir Files that become so political? Was it the subject or what? Okay. So when you make a, a film, say, on LGBT community, so all the LGBT community people, activists and writers, everybody gets involved. Uh, when, when you make a film, say, uh, on the education system, like brilliant film by Raju Hirani, okay, then all the educationists get involved. Similarly, when Rangde Basanti came, then all those associations and organizations which were concerned about uh, army and defense and human rights, all of them got involved. So this is a political film. It's it's one of the most complex political, sensitive political issue. So it's but natural for media and politicians to get involved. And the second reason they are getting involved is because for 32 years, uh, both politicians and media have created kind of ideological shield mm -hmm. to cover up. And there has been a lie for 32 years. Mm -hmm. Now that shield is being shattered and the real face is out. So therefore they are rattled and therefore they are so involved. Okay. And a final word about your fantastic cast, uh, you know, Anupam sir has done a great job, of course Pallavi has done a great job, <laughs> what does that gesture mean? She is the casting director, she <laughs> she insisted that we will cast only actors right from Buddhaina Traffic Jam. Right. This has become our corporate policy. Oh nice, so Pallavi, I mean, what was the, what was the thought behind it and how happy are you with the kind of feedback that your cast has got? Extremely happy because I know the entire cast has put in their absolute best. I have seen the way they have worked hard. <clears throat> Everybody always, you know, uh, I mean, there were not even one instance apart from uh, Mr. Anupam Khair who would, none of the actors ever came up to Vivek and said that, you know, is this how I should play it? Or, kya mein aisa karun, kya mein aisa karun? They all just came to the sets and they were so into the character right from the beginning. Mek Vichin, Mek Madhlekar, Mek Vichuni Kassar. And I've never seen Puneet in a role like this ever, right. you know, because we've only seen him in, uh, as, as a villain no. in Hindi films or we've seen him in mythological characters. But uh, something like this, he was so good. Mm -hmm. Atul Srivastava is like the surprise, uh, you know, package right. of the whole thing. He, he carried the role of that journalist so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Prakash Belavati is anyway extremely yeah. sensitive actor. I've always loved him. Mrinal Kane brought in so much grace in the character of Lakshmi Dutt. And Darshan, of course, was like amazing. Mm -hmm. He was like God sent for us. And the way Mithunda bought the entire, you know, pain of that era. I think everybody. I mean, if I I can write volumes on <laughs> practically everyone and Anupam Kher, what a what a character he's played. You know, in the end, when he dies in the film, you something breaks inside you. Mm -hmm. Cool, fantastic. Thank you so much guys for the time and Thank best of luck. Let's uh, let's hope the film scales even more bigger heights. Wow, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.